Hello, I'm Nathan Judo. I'm here with Shrewsbury Town reporter, Mr. Lewis Cox. Lewis, finally, finally, three points a win. What a difference a win makes to, yeah. to your state of mind on a Saturday night, let alone <laughs> Shrewsbury's. Yeah, yeah, I had a good weekend for once. Um, no, it was. I, I was so happy for John Askey, the relief he felt after the game. It was palpable, like he, he was making little jokes about how he's finally going to get a bit of sleep on a Saturday mm. night, enjoy a nice glass of red. I'm sure it would have tasted better than, than it has done. Um, but they finally got what they deserved, really. You know, I've been speaking about it all season, writing about it all season, that they hadn't got the, what they deserved from performances. Mm. And they were so comfortable against Southend, who were, um, you know, on paper a good side, mm. but, but Town, you know, two first off. Half sure. goals had it, had it won by the, the break, really. Mm. They were third gear, second half. They could have gone on to win by a lot more. And, you know, now you, you hope you can kick on and the season sort of starts to... You know, build on it now, and yeah, I just think it's just a, a weight off the shoulder, like yeah. a monkey off the back, that they hadn't just managed to get over the line, which mm. they did. Now they've done it easily, and they, they should have that just extra bit of confidence that they sure. can, you know, can turn performances where they've matched sides, gone better than sides, into like three points. Mm. And so I start working the way up that table as well. And what what do you think they did differently on Saturday that <laughs> they haven't been doing recently? Was what was what was that? You got to say quoi? Right, it's, it is actually a really simple answer. It's just cutting edge, just mm. the, the the final bit. Yeah, they they hadn't put their chances away. Mm. They created enough in games, but but not had the cutting edge to 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 give them the goals they deserve. They, they managed one goal in a couple of games, but yeah, they got two in the first half. Great times right at the start, of the half right at the end, and yeah, it just looked like they they could score more as mm. well. You, you know, they'll have to score more than two in games moving forward but there is a cutting edge there you know one of their centre forwards has three goals now two of a player Sean Worley and Sir Greg Doherty have two apiece so that's looking encouraging that they're creating and they can sort of finish it off and like they have been many times this season they were they were tight at the back they weren't really troubled by South End they didn't give away a penalty which was a nice <laughs> change um, so yeah they're, they're not being carved open in open play at all they look solid so yeah good signs at the front at the front sorry and at the back really mm. that they can you know, all they've needed to do is is find the scoring touch, the finishing touch, like the killer touch to to put teams down. And yeah, yeah, the fixture list is decent coming up, so it's it's a good time to kind of build a bit of momentum. And you know, they went from twenty second to seventeenth, mm -hmm. and a couple more results that'd be top half. So you know, it's kind of like what worry, <laughs> kind of almost maybe. <laughs> good stuff. Uh, fingers crossed. Plenty more wins to come. Uh, for all the latest salad news, make sure you log on to ShropshireStar.com.